Hey everybody and welcome to uh, Hitman Contracts. We will be continuing where we left off. Load right here. So I finished off the last level even though you guys didn't get to see it. I finished off the last level just because I wanted to uh, make sure that... Alright, this, this already went bad. Let's, uh, is there a way to restart mission? There we go. So yes, alright, because here is my idea. I need to do this. I need to kill him. Okay, actually, hold on. We just need patience. We need to wait until there's a second guy who comes up, which is the next guy. That guy. And we are going to... Once again, put a hole in the back of his head. And what this guy is going to do is he's going to come up here and try and grab a box. Obviously, we're not going to let him. So wait till he goes over here and tries and grabs a box. He's a little worker dude. Wait till he picks up the first box. And then we school him. We need to do this. We need to drag his body because that is the most important. That blood splatter doesn't really matter. They're not going to be able to see that. And if they do, we're going to be long gone. So actually what we have to do is we need to keep dragging him all the way back. We're going to drag him all the way back, 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 way back. We're actually going to drag him to the back right over here. And that is enough. Now we will cue away our weapon and we will not forget to suit up as him. There we go. Take his clothes. And I'm not worried about killing him because now they're not going to find us. We can go ahead and pick up a crate and bring it to them. So the first person on our hitman targets list is somewhere over in here is he gonna just let me go okay I'm assuming he does not need to feel my flesh that chef guy is a guy that we need to uh Hello, sir. I am actually going to uh, G to drop this crate right down here. I'm going to talk to this guy just for a second to make him go away. Pick up the laxatives and this nice little soup over here. We are going to hey <laughs> poison with laxatives. And if you don't know what that is, it's something that makes you really need to go to the bathroom, like uncontrollably bad. So now that that's out of the way, we are going to grab our crate once more so we look non-suspicious. We're going to shift our way out of here. We're going to stand right here, and we are going to make a quick little save. Because that guy right there in the yellow hoodie, he is one of our targets. And pretty soon, he's going to want to go ahead and test out the suit. He's going to go into the back kitchen to test out the soup pretty soon. Let's just hope that the chef doesn't do it first. Uh-oh. We may have poisoned the wrong guy. Did he try it or did he just turn on the stove? He's going to try the soup. I hope that he serves it to the other guy. I hope that he doesn't try it himself. Hello, sir. I just have a food cart in. Yeah, he's going to serve it to the guy at the white table, hopefully. Because Yellow Jacket, we need him to go to the bathroom for an emergency. And we can actually drop our cake crate, our cater crate, in the bathroom over here. We could drop it over here in the corner. 
and then shift out of here. All right. Wait till he drinks it up, eats it up, drinks it up, whatever he's going to do with it. And now let's just wait. Wait right here. Now he will feel the sudden urge to go ahead and use the bathroom. There we go. Now he has to go use it. He has uncontrollable diarrhea. And as a professional hitman, we are going to do this. And get him really quick. Get him really quick. Get him right there. No, that didn't work for some reason. Alright, so I know that what we need to do now is we need to escape and load right here, right before he went in. Alright, this is a little while back. It's okay, it'll give us more time. So we now know what we need to do. We need to go over here, we need to drop this right down here. Can we stand right here with our fiber wire out or is that way too suspicious? If we press Q and then Hold on, wait a second. If we press E, then switch to this, then Q, then Q again. All right, we do have it right on hand. So we're just going to go ahead and look at the map. And we can now see that the chef is headed over to the guy as we're speaking to give him the soup to make the guy have uncontrollable diarrhea to come into the bathroom. All right. Let's need to wait a little bit. Now, our target is probably like right in the middle of drinking our soup. And then he's gonna go, hello, hello, blah, 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 I need to use the bathroom. All right, let's wait for him to head on over here. As we look at this riveting gameplay. Wait for him to stand up. Ah, he's taking a while. Huh. It's taking him so long. Oh, now here he comes. Alright, so we might want to just get the map down and watch him come through the door. I'm pretty sure he's not going to be hostile to us. Okay, he wants us to leave. So, are you going to leave too, friend? No, he's going to make me do this. Well, how could he possibly have seen that? There's no possible way he could have seen that. So, uh, if we do this... Ah, uh, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Back out here. And just, uh... So, yeah. We just got to wait. In the meantime, we could actually just drop our crate. And check the rest of the place out. Now here is going to be a once in a lifetime opportunity I feel for us to pull out our silver ballers and pop pop and my cover has been blown but not for long because there is no way anybody else could have heard that and we are going to actually take a guard uniform and an AK-47. Here we go and we are going to open the door and the chef is now just now bringing him his food for him to go ahead and use that bathroom over there and we're gonna stand here as if we're an official guard on duty the 
guards have found a dead soldier outside, but that's okay, because we aren't outside. And it says our cover has been blown. I don't know how they could have possibly known that. But whatever, show yourself. Alright, come on. Uh, let's try this again. Come on. Alright, let's just go out here. That's our escape. Alright, let's go back through here. And the chef is just now bringing him the food. Giving us just a little more time to explore, I feel. Hello. Can we go into here? I'm not going to risk it. No, he does not want us in there. So let's just run back really quick before the guy even gets to the bathroom. I have a feeling he's on his way now to the bathroom that is so he's about to get up am I correct put down our basket right here and make him go to the bathroom My plan is actually to sneak, to get down on the ground and to sneak. So wait till he sits down and do this, or we will in fact do that. And now we want to do this, we want to come out here, open the door, do that, do this, okay. Open the door twice is the key. Then pick up his gun, take his clothes, and cue it. Cue. And then we need to walk outside. We need to press escape, and we need to save the game. That is our first guy down. And we need to continue the game, and we need to check out the map where we want to go next. So next is out and in here, I'm pretty sure. Out and in the place that we're not allowed to go with just any random clothes. We almost got spotted there running past that guy. That would not have been good. All right, just run, run, run until we get to here. Now they should let us in here. They did. And, uh, now, pretty sure this actually wasn't the point that we're supposed to go at. So let's just take a look around the map. We need to find ladders where we're at. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.